Hello everyone, um, you guys are welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, I am Sisis Apare and if you're here to subscribe to my channel, please don't forget to do that. And in today's class, I want to show us how to cut um, a spaghetti strap dress. Yep. Like, um, I'm making use of um, four yards of fabric. And there are so many ways in which you can cut it. There is going to be a free, a free dress. Mm, you, can, you can simply just fold your fabric into four like this. Both the front, that is your cutting both the front and the back together. Um, then you can also fold in bias form. Just something like this. The fabric can go like this. As if you're folding in bias form like something like this how you guys understand but in this case now this material is having pattern so I'm going to leave it straight so whether you leave it straight or whether you leave it straight or you fold it in a um, bias form you are seeking to achieve um, what you're looking for You're still going to achieve what you're looking for. So what I will do now is um just fold like one or one and a half or two inches here. Just fold one and a half or two inches here. This upper part like this. Because this folded part now, that is where you're going to insert your rope or maybe if it is elastic you want to use, whichever one you want to make use of. This is where you're going to insert it. So just fold that two inches so that you know that that one is off your um, normal measurement. So after when you might have done that, take off six inches from here. That is from here, measure six inches. That is going to be the depth of the neck, of the neckline. So you're going to measure it down to get your, um, your full length measurement. How this is clear just after folding the first thing you do after folding um, both the front and the back together into four then you fold your two inches here or 1.5 for the folding at the upper parts either you are inserting rope or elastic whichever one you want to put you are going to do it this way then you are going to take the six inches is not constant depending on how deep you want the neck to be it might be seven it can be eight it can be four whichever one you want to make use of is up to you so when you want to get your length, all you need to do is just take off that four inches from there. So that which means you are going to start your six inches is going to be here. Then these other ones will complete your um, desired length measurement. So on this part, it doesn't actually have a standard measurement too. You can decide to depend on how wide you want it and how gathered you want it at the end of everything. Maybe after putting your rope or the elastic you want to put so depending on how gathered you want it around here that is what we determine how wide you are going to measure so here i'm using um i'm using 17 inches i'm using 17 inches here So from this 17 inches, from this 17 inches, just, just cut from there and you slant a little bit. Just do it as if you're making an, uh, an A-shaped dress. Just open it. So now you can open it to the last edge of the fabric. Just like I said, depending on how wide you want it to look like so from that 17 inches just cut straight if you like you can give it a um, small shape from this point but i don't think it's really necessary so after we might have cut in form of a shape just open it a little bit just open it a little bit 
So all you need to do now is just try and get your armhole out of this place. So me, what I will do, I will measure 3.5 inches, 3.5 inches here. Then here, I will measure 4 inches. So I'm going to cut like this. I'm going to cut like this. So this is serving as my arm hole. This is serving as my arm hole. If you like, you can make it four here, four here. It's gonna be very free stuff, so it doesn't really require your arm or circumference measurement. So by the time you put um whatever you want to put either rope, if you're putting elastic here, so that means you are going to cut strap like seven inches. That will complete your um what is it called your arm all measurement but in this case i'm going to put rope inside so the rope will definitely form the um the shoulder the rope for the shoulder and the arm all will come out you understand so that's that about this place so as it is like this if you like you can decide to leave it this straight if you like you can just you can just give it small shape from here and just give it small shape then if you like you can also leave it straight so whichever one you want to do is up to you so what you do now is um this is it this is how wide it is so you need to do now is fold this one you're going to fold this then you're going to fold this other one too so after when you might have done that, just with one inch, just join this both side with one inch downward or through. Then if you like, you are going to use um after joining, sorry, after joining this both side, all you need to do is just pipe this place. Pipe this little place. You understand? So that's that about this one. Then cutting the rope depends on how long and how wide you want it. Depend on how long and how wide you want it, but I think this length is okay. This length is okay. So you can just make it um two inches wide. So after one, you might have gotten this, just like I said. This one doesn't have a, um, have a standard measurement. You can set just make it as long as you want. You understand? You are going to, you know, sew the strap like this. Both these other ones too. Come, okay, let me show you what it will look like. So after when you might have turned the, the strap, this is what is going to come out as. This is the second one. Second one. Then um, just like I said, I've already joined the sides. I've joined the two sides. I've folded this um upper part, both the front and the back. So all you need to do now is just try and insert this. Make sure it goes through this place, both front and the back. So this is it. After when you might have passed um, the rope through that place, this is what is going to come as come out as. So this is it. So from this point now, you can decide to tie it to your after putting it on. You can just tie it to whatever measurement you want, something that will fit into your shoulder and your armhole. then your um spaghetti strap dress is ready this is it it's as simple as that i think this one is way more easier than trying to put elastic here then you start adding um additional strap at this upper part so i think this is a bit easy you can decide to adjust it to whatever size you want 
So this is what is going to come out like. So this is it. So you can see this straight one. You can see you're also going to maintain your front pattern, unlike the one you um you folded in the um, bias form. So that's that. It's as simple as that. Thank you very much everybody for watching. Please don't forget to share and subscribe. See you guys in my next video.